so easy it is to fly. <laughs> a bit dangerous in here since it's only the third time I've, I've uh, flown it. But it works incredibly easy. I was, I'm really surprised just how easy it is um, to take off, land, to turn. Uh, it's, and basically that's the setup there. There's really not a lot to it. it it's, it's so easy. It's basically just flick these two together into the centre and it'll start up. And then it's just a matter of lifting this one up. And to land, you can just hold it down. And it automatically lands. Can't be bad. I won't be doing too much in the workshop, there's too many cars in here. But there we go. This is a DJI. Uh, Mini 2 combo that uh, my wife kindly got me, it, but it was it was a Christmas present, I guess. But um, we got it in Dubai back in uh, October uh, because the prices were better out there for this kind of stuff, electronic stuff. Although a friend of mine, um, Mark Shorrock, has bought one, and if you join some club, they're actually a little bit less. They're about twenty pounds less in the UK if you do a certain deal. But um, I've been looking at one, getting one of these uh, drones for some time, and, and this is absolutely amazing. The, the control of it is, is quite incredible. I've flown it uh, uh, probably about four to 10, or 10 or 15 times, I guess, uh, just for a few minutes here and there. I think the most is probably 10 minutes, which is probably this video, but I won't show you all of it. But this is the valley where we actually live. Um, today's quite nice. It's 9, 9 degrees. It's... Uh, December the 26th Boxing Day. Um, obviously, it's really nice and quiet where we live, which is great. It's a wine growing area in in uh, near a place called Furstenfeld, which is um, um, in Steiermark. And this is some of the houses that basically, what you can see past that building there or that tower, that's the end. There is no way out, so you can only go down one way. Um, but it's it's really nice countryside and. The main town of Furstenfeld is, is about uh, one and a half miles in either direction. When you get to the end of this road that you're looking at now that we're going up, it splits left and right. One, goes, one side goes down into Altamark at the little village, probably one and a half kilometers away, and down into the big shopping area. And then the one on the right goes down into town, which is the town of Furstenfeld. Uh, but we're very lucky. It's um, nice open spaces. It's a beautiful place to live, and in the summer, it's it's really really spectacular because all the flowers and all the vines are out, as you can see some up on the right hand side. But I won't do all of this video because it's, it gets a bit boring. But if anybody's thinking about buying one of these drones, this is un unbelievably good. I've only got it on Cine. Uh That's a new house across the road that some German chap has built. It looks like a bunker, but whatever. You can see how lovely this valley is that we live in, and there's our pool there. Um, we've got around about um, two, two acres, I think, two and a bit acres, I can't remember exactly what it is, uh, but the pool takes up quite a lot of that, and then I've got some garages down in the lower garden, uh, which you can see there, there's the new roof we, the new roof we put on, uh, we took the pergola down, and this is this tented um, workshop that I've got as well, it's kind of overspill, and we do a lot of dirty work down there, that is not a crop circle, by the way, I don't know what it is, <laughs> But it's, um, anyway, but yeah, it's a beautiful place to live. And I absolutely adore living in Austria. It's such a great country. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? So I just thought I'd put this little video up. It's not to the usual car stuff, but I will be using this with the cars. Um, and as I say, I've only flown it, you know, after a dozen times or so. Um, and I was very impressed right from the get-go. It's one of these things that's it's almost autonomous. You know, once you put the blades on and it's and the props are turning and you push the up button on the left hand side it goes up and wherever you stop it just sits and you can see by by the video quality how good it is there's a 4k camera in it but the quality of the video is it's absolutely incredible it's it's i'm very 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 impressed and there's our pull there the pumps haven't been on for a few months since the winter came in because it does get iced up um yeah and you can see, there you go. That, that's the first car that's been passed in the last 48 hours. Obviously going down to visit some relatives or whatever. 
Um, you can see there a little bit of the caravan in the left bottom corner. Um, but like I say, I won't I won't uh, put all of this on because it will take it will take forever. And um, yeah, it's it's just a really really good bit of kit to fly for a beginner for somebody that's never flown one who's worried about losing it or. I think the hardest part is to let it go out your sight, but once it gets above sort of 50 metres or 100 feet, or sorry, uh, 30 metres, 100 feet, uh, you can't see it anyway. It's, it's a, but my dog, <laughs> Stella, is not too impressed with it. She uh, gets a little bit irate with it, but there you go. Here's what it is. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good bit of kit. If, if you want something for a bit of fun that's not ridiculously expensive, because they were very expensive at one point, this is her going crazy over it. Believe it or not, that's quite a long distance away from me. It doesn't look like it is, but it, but the camera is so good. But this is when I first flew, uh, and you can see obviously the difference in the shrubbery and green greenery. This was right at the end of October when we came back. I think I got a neighbour to do the app for me because I'm rubbish at computer stuff. But if I can operate this, I mean, a, a child of five could operate it. Um, but you can see the difference. There's the caravan everything obviously everything's battened down now for the winter but uh, we're not finished up with the caravan yet we've got to do lots of work, some work inside and lots of graphics and things on the outside so we'll do that in the in the autumn or the spring um yeah but just showing you the difference in how the valley looks and this was in as i said this is late october probably start of november um so you know i'm only talking about six weeks away or whatever it was six yeah six seven weeks away and the difference um but yeah this is me just kind of first getting used to it and uh been very very ginger with it you can see the movements are, are very small but today i tried it on sport mode and geez it moves at some rapid speed um i think you'd want to be having at least half an hour's an hour's practice on it before you started going to this sport because sport it flies at such a fast speed it's just incredible anyway i just thought i'd um let you have a look at uh, this. I mean, look at that bush in the background, that red bush. You can see it's coming into autumn. And the difference in the grass, you can still see all the, the where the rider mower marks are on the, on it. But um, very easy to get used to, like I've said. Um, I was surprised. I think, you know, if you follow the basic instruction, you really can't go wrong with it. The one thing I would say about this is I've got, you can buy a little landing pad for these things. And that might seem a bit overkill or a bit stupid, but in fact it's not. If you think about it, because when the cat, when the when the drone lifts off, it it's checking the area where it lifted off. So now, if you lift off a piece of grass, I'm sure one bit of grass looks pretty much the same as the other. Um, and so these mats, they're about five or ten euro or something. It's worth getting because it will land, um, especially if you put it on uh, come come back mode or home mode, whatever. It will land directly onto that landing pad. So I haven't got one. What I have got is I've got an archery set. So I use one of the archery targets to to put on the ground. Now, I didn't then, um, because it's the same. If you land it on a piece of tarmac, it doesn't know one piece of tarmac from the next, unless there's some crack in it or something it recognizes. So there you go.